Hey, this is Blind Fox, and welcome at my ration review. Please support the channel, please subscribe, and please go and donate on Patreon.com. So, today's ration we got from Russian Combat Rations on eBay. Go and check them out. So, this is the breakfast part of the Ukrainian ration. This is sort of here, this uh, sort of it's daily something dry um, produce but this is basically a daily, a daily ration this just says Ukraine it's a nice big bag it's actually a nice bag since you can um, use this um, handle here and it's a thick plastic almost as thick as the American ones but it's a quite a nice bag so every meal is in a little bag this says breakfast. You can see they cut it off a bit. It also got squashed in the bag a bit or in the sort of got closed within the bag. So let's see what we are going to do for breakfast. Welcome at breakfast. We are going to have kasha with beef. I'm not sure exactly which kasha this is. This is 325 grams. This is quite a heavy tin. We've got 100 grams of luncheon meat. We've got two packets of biscuits or crackers. We've got powdered milk. I think, I don't think this is coffee but we will check this out anyway. We've got three sugars. And you can feel this is sugar, it's not coffee. But I will make sure of that as well. We've got a wet nap, a very flimsy spoon and a napkin. Oh wait, this is not... Yep, this is coffee. Yay, I thought this was creamer, but no, this is coffee. I'm so glad I got the coffee. So we will go and do the coffee heat this up and I will be back but I will heat this up in the microwave I'm not going to heat this up um, it's just easier to use the microwave to heat this up so let's see how it looks cold you can see there's quite a bit of fat in here it sticks there's quite a bit of fat You can see it's a very dense dish. So let's taste a bit. You can eat this cold but it's very fatty. We'll heat this up and see if it's better. Alright, everything is heated up and made. I'm not going to use these sugars. Why you need three of them. Alright, let's start with the biscuits quite thick. This is how it looks if it's not truly crushed. One of the packets got a bit broken so let's take them out. Very tasteless dry biscuit. It's got the same texture almost than the Polish ones just not the nice flavor. Okay the 100 grams of luncheon meat. we go. So let's taste a bit of this. So it's just a pate thing, very smooth. Definitely some more on the liver in here. You get that liver taste. Not really sure what, what sort of pate this is but so let's try it on the biscuit. Nice slight liver taste. Just a normal pate, not really anything to write home about. But it's a nice light liver flavor. It's not overwhelmingly liver flavor. But it's nice. It is 
quite soft. It goes well with the biscuits since the biscuits doesn't have any taste to overwhelm the pate with. So let's check out our kasha. It's much softer now when it's hot. It's very very hard when it's dry when it's um, cold. Not a lot of flavor, but you can taste the meat is real. The um, not sure what this is. If it's barley or some other thing. It's some other grain. But it's nice, it's soft. When it's cold, it's very, very brittle. It, it really tastes the fattiness when this is cold. But when you heat it up, the fat sort of disappear a bit. You don't taste it as much. You still get the residue in your mouth. You can still feel this is fatty. But you don't taste that fat taste. This is much, much, much better hot than cold. Although it's not a very flavorful dish. But this is a lot of food that is like nice and hearty. You will really... Um, this will really fill you up. So let's check out the coffee. And congratulations Ukraine! Your coffee is even more flavorless than the South African coffees. I didn't think that was possible but you made it. So this is not, most likely I used too much water. You most likely would use less water in this then. Not very flavorful but if you don't like coffee this is a ni just nice and warm. You really don't get that flavour or coffee flavour at all. Just a very slight flavour of coffee. Not a very heavy coffee smell as well. So this was the breakfast. We will check out our wet pipe with lunch. I'm not going to open it now. So what did I think about it? The kasha a bit flavourless but there's at least a lot of food so you won't be hungry. It's, you have to heat this up because it's so dry and it's not really good when it's cold. When it's hot, it's nice, it's soft, it's much more flavorful. Coffee is a bit disappointing. The biscuits, no, it's, they're nice and thick, but some of them still broke. Um, a bit tasteless and dry, but the pate, a nice light liver pate. Not a lot of flavor, but it's a light, nice livery. It goes well with the biscuits. And since we have the biscuits and we have this, let's check this out. The biscuits with the um, goes quite nice with the, the kasha. It gives a nice crunchiness to the meal. Um, you don't the, the biscuits. The taste of the biscuits doesn't influence the taste of the, the the kasha much, but you get a nice crunchiness. So if you want a bit of a more textured meal, if you can, you can crush up these biscuits. They are very hard almost as thick and hard as the Polish ones, just not as flavorful. So this was my breakfast. Interesting breakfast. Almost thought I didn't have coffee. I thought that was coffee creamer, but it was the coffee. I'm so glad I looked because the coffee was so fine. It really felt like a creamer. This is a really, really, really fine grained coffee. But overall, interesting. This is the kasha taste, like most of the kashas I've tasted. Not that I've tasted a lot of kasha. But it's a nice filling breakfast. So that was breakfast. Next video will be lunch. So I got this from um, Russian Combat Rations on eBay. So go and check them out. So this is a nice filling breakfast. So I'll finish this all up and see you at my next video ration review. Please support the channel, please subscribe, please go and visit me on patreon.com. Thanks for watching.